Had a lot uh-huh. to say about your physicality, the element you bring of physicality to the football field, what you brought there, about 20 yards of catch. Talk about that and being honored by the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame last week. How special is it to stay in the Carolinas? Oh, man, it is very special, man. I am blessed to know to be able to get that award. Man, I just, just and then like falling back to what you see about Kobe Beamer, man, about the physicality part of it, man. It's a, it's a grown man game, man, and then I, I I feel as I'm a grown man. I'm gonna play against a whole lot of grown men, man. So I'm gonna bring that fight. I'm gonna bring that fire to the sun. Xavier Nick Carboni from WCNC Charlotte. Uh, congratulations. I know you expected the Panthers to draft you. Uh, were you surprised that they traded up for you? What What were those minutes like? Uh, wondering if they would be the one to pick you and if you would go in the first round. Oh man, like, uh, I didn't know what to expect, man. I was just waiting to hear my name call, and man, once they called me, told me that they was trading up for me, man. It was a whole lot of joy and excitement. All right, let's go to Cassidy Hill, followed by Alex Zietlow. Hey Xavier, congratulations. I'm just I'm wondering if you've gone back once you started meeting with the Panthers and thought that this might be a possibility. How much have you gone back and kind of watched what Bryce Young did last year, maybe what Dave Canales did in Tampa Bay last year, and, and thought about how you could be implemented? Oh man, well, really, man, I haven't really watched any of those guys going or any of those guys games, but I know what I feel like I can bring to the team. Man. I can just say, man, this. Being able to have the ability for them to move me around within the offense and then move me around on special teams as well, I and mean, I feel like that could bring a whole lot to the team. Speaking of the special teams, Dan Morgan said tonight that, especially with the new kickoff rules, that's somewhere he could see you possibly contributing. Where do you kind of see yourself fitting in there as well, especially with the new rules? Oh um, man, just like you said, he said, man, now that new rule, man, is I feel like it's more easier for the return. As long as I get a crease, find a hole, man. Hey, I'm going to outflank the uh, I'm going to outflank the uh, the gigging six. Hey, Xavier. Alex Zetlow of the Charlotte Observer here. Um, you are going to join a couple Gamecocks on this team. Uh, I'm curious what you think about joining some of your Gamecock uh, brethren, and specifically um, Jadavian Clowney. Who I'm sure you grew up watching. What what is that like joining your uh, former Gamecocks? Oh man, it's great, man. Hey, every, every time I go to show, I stop through on Jamie Robinson, my man, man Jamie Tell. Just about every every other week, man. He's I mean, gonna be blessed to be to be able to get back and play with him. Even JC Horn. Those guys, I was there with JC for two years. Man, he 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 part of the reason why I got better, man. Like we work hard every day. Man, they're good on good, man. man. What about Clowney specifically? Oh man, well I know he a dog, man. And I <laughs> and I one thing I know when I'm I'm gonna be by his side, just to, just to pick it brain and see, man, what what can I learn from him as well? Thank you. All right, let's go to Mike with set, followed by Matt Dow. Oh yeah. Congratulations, sir, on, on getting drafted. Uh, Dave Canales just talked a couple moments ago. We talked about your ability. He also said, you know, there's gonna be a learning curve. You know, what do you feel uh, you know, you're going to have to do to necessarily bring your skills to the next level and adjust to the Panthers' style of play? Um, and I'll say, man, just, just, just lean on to the older guys in the room just to pick their brain as well, just to see what what what, what tendencies they use to be a, able to get open in this in this league. And, man, I'm just watching film and studying the DVs as well just to see what, what's their flaw, what things that they lacking on, what's their weaknesses. Just so I can be able to know, like, okay, going in this game, if I hit them with a certain move, that'll be able to put me open and put me in a better position. Hey, Xavier, Matt Dowell with Watch Fox in Columbia, South Carolina. Just how did your time with Shane Beamer and the Gamecocks here in Columbia prepare you for this moment that you've been waiting your whole life for? Oh, man, I, I, I think this, this year – specifically really helped me for the lead the most. And the reason why I say that is just the way how, how they implemented me within the offense is being able to move me around and then being able to, to receive the information that they was really putting in for me, man, because I was really asked to do a lot, but it really wasn't a lot. 
it, and, and it, that's how I see it. So, man, just being able to get that information from them and learn from them the way how they was coaching me, I feel like that helped me prepare me to be able to play on in this league. Right, let's go to Joe Person, followed by Steve Reed. Hey, Xavier, congrats. Uh, where are you calling from? Where was your draft party? Um, in Mullen, South Carolina. How many people were there, and uh, who there? Who who was there that was really special to you? I'm I'm sure everybody, but anybody we we might know. Oh man, well I I, I ain't gonna say anybody else. Man. I know man, but the very most special, special person that was here was my grandma. My grandma, man, she took me in. Like when my both my people passed away, my aunt she very special to me. We are my two sisters and my brother, my my first my first two cousins. They all were here. Savior, why were you so confident that the Panthers were going to take you? Oh, man, just because of the meetings that we had. I could feel the love and the vibe coming from them, man. So I knew if it wasn't them, I, well, I, I knew if it wasn't them, I wasn't going to be sure, but I, I, had a, I had a good feeling about them. Xavier, um, I, I believe you're you, you cross paths with another first round draft pick from South Carolina here, JC Horn. Um, uh, how close are you with JC? Did do you do you just go up against him in practice and uh, tell me about that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. JC, like I said, with JC part of the reason that I, I became a good player, man. Uh, because he's he very patient at the line, man. You, you can't just all right, but you can't just do anything on JC, man. I'm sorry, you went out on me. That you there? Hold on, hold on. The Panthers, that, them boy calling me. But yeah, though, man, JC, man, like like I say, when JC a good player, man, he made me ball. Man. All right, we got time for a few more. Let's go to Jack Taylor, followed by Vashti Hurt. Xavier Jack Taylor with WCCB. Congratulations and welcome back to the Carolinas. I appreciate it. So you were the seventh wide receiver picked tonight. Talk a little bit about where that puts your head at going into this rookie season. What you look to prove coming into this year? Oh man, man. I, I was going out there to play my game man, and do my best and my ability. Man. I, I want to go out there. I earn the trust from the coaches to be able to play on the field, get on, the, be able to get on the field. That's all I'm worrying about, man. I ain't worrying about what where I got picked. picked. As long as I got picked, I'm happy to lose. Hi, Xavier. Vash Ty Hurt with Carolina Blitz. Congrats. Um, obviously, you're from Mullins. Uh, you went to South Carolina. Just how important was it for you or how it, good is it for you to stay in the Carolinas and play? And then what was the reaction from your family when you got selected? I'm blessed to be in this position, man. I'm blessed to be with my feet. Yeah. My whole family, my, my whole city happy for me, man. man. I, I, I had to do this for them, man. I know my whole city got my back, and I just want to—I just want to make them happy. All right, let's finish up with Cassidy Hill. Hey, Xavier, I, I just wanted to clarify: Did you say you're at your grandmother's house? Is that right? Oh no, man, we we at the new town hall in uh, in in my city, but I'm saying my grandma, she she was the, like the most special person here, so not. Okay, and then. As you said, you, you've been kind of confident that it was going to be the Panthers for a while now. When did you first start realizing, like, that their interest was legit and that this had a good chance of happening? Um, when I say at the senior bowl, so uh, we, we had three days to where we had to meet with, with teams. And each day I had to meet with the Panthers at least. I, I, that, that's really when I realized, like, okay, man, they, 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 they really want me, man. They like me or and then, man, they just, I just kept meeting with them, like, at the uh, at the combine, I was met with them. And then, like, they, they had about four, five folks on the staff at the uh, pro day, man. So, I'm like, okay, man, these guys are serious about me. And I also had the top three to visit with them as well. All right, thanks, Xavier. I appreciate it. Thanks, man.